New details about a potential coronavirus vaccine. For the first time, a panel of experts met to discuss the candidates in development. So what are they looking for and what does a local expert think? KDKA Health Editor Dr. Maria Simbra takes a look. The Vaccine and Related Biological Products Advisory Committee is meeting to discuss COVID-19 vaccines. The 15-member panel consists of experts with various backgrounds. From scientists to medical clinicians to lawyers, it's a group of experts who really have no vested interest, if you will, in making sure that vaccine A gets to market. And this sounds like it was a special convened meeting specifically to talk about what to do for a COVID vaccine. The panel reviews a wide range of important information. I would want to see the data from the vaccine. I would want to see the diversity of the population of people that were enrolled. I would want to know any adverse events or side effects that were observed. And I'd like to know the immunogenicity. So how effective this vaccine was at eliciting a good immune response and what they're defining as a good immune response. The panelists will also review the recent pauses in research because of safety concerns. They're going to want to know what was done to evaluate whether that was related to the vaccine or whether it was related to another cause altogether. One recent concern, a 28-year-old study participant in Brazil who died of COVID. He got placebo, though. He was part of the study, so they have to take that seriously. The panel will also discuss what happens if a vaccine receives emergency use authorization and how that would affect ongoing clinical trials. They'll have to examine the topic of reinfection and how that would influence vaccine development. Dr. Stefano has been listening to the proceedings. They're talking about everything from the actual trials themselves and, you know, how far we are in timelines to public perception of a vaccine and how we improve public perception. Uh, so that people want to get the vaccine. The committee only advises the FDA. The FDA is not obligated to follow the committee's recommendations, but it usually does. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDK8 News.